In James chapter 4, verses 1 through 3, we are challenged by these words. What causes fights and quarrels among you? Don't they come from your desires that battle within you? You desire, but do not have, so you kill. You covet, but you cannot get what you want, so you quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. When you ask, you do not receive, because you ask with the wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. Many of our failures result from our failure to pray. As we examine our mistakes, we discover a forsaken prayer altar or prayer closet and an unopened Bible. James bottom lines it. We do not have because we do not ask God. Best-selling author Joyce Meyer writes, As a burned-out, frustrated young Christian, I realized one day that living in my own strength was useless. I needed to take my problems to God. In other words, I needed to pray more. And in Matthew 7, 7, Jesus says to us, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Keep on asking, seeking, and knocking. Sometimes it's only when we reach the end of our rope that we turn to God in prayer. Like he's the last resort. And even then, when our prayers are not instantly answered, we give up. But over and over in scripture, we are told to wait on God. Why? Because while we are waiting, God is working. Sometimes he's working on the thing that we've asked him for. Other times, he's working on us. In such times, he may be correcting our desires and attitudes or directing us toward his will. So don't just pray. Pray persistently. Don't stress out trying to make things happen on your own. Give it all to God as you pray. Remember, he has promised that when you seek him with all your heart, you will find him, as we see in Jeremiah 29, 13, which says, you will seek me and find me when you seek me with your whole heart. So, put your heart into your prayer time. Wait quietly in God's presence so that you can listen, and then let God speak to you. You will be delightfully surprised and how he answers your prayers. And that's the word for you today. We want to invite you to join us for worship this Sunday as we celebrate the Lord's Supper together at both 9 and 11 a.m. And if you can't join us in person, we are back online on our Facebook page or our YouTube channel at the Village Church at World Golf Village. And don't forget any last-minute gifts of cash, gift cards, or school supplies this Sunday for our school closets at Osceola and Piccolotta Crossing Elementary Schools, Pasetti Bay Middle School, and Tokoy Creek High School. Also, we will be hosting the latest installment of our monthly Sunday concert series with a hymn sing and ice cream social beginning at 2 o'clock this Sunday in the sanctuary. The event is free and all are invited. Have a great weekend and we'll be looking for you this Sunday, no matter what the storms may do. I love you, church. Have a great day.